if else statement in Rust is a little bit interesting, you can return values from the if conditional statement. But before I show you that, let's just go through an example of how to create an if else conditional statement. So here we have a value called x equal to 10. Let's check whether this x is an even number or not. Say if x remainder 2 is equal to 0, then this means that this number is an even number. Say print ln x is even. Else, you'll say x is odd. x is odd. Okay, so this is a simple example of if else conditional statement. So now let me show you an example of how to use this if conditional statement to return a value. This is something that I have not seen in other programming language, which makes it interesting in Rust. We assign the value that is returned from an if conditional statement. Let's call this g. Let g. And then we will return i32. i32 equal to. And then here comes the interesting part. If, let's say if x is greater than 0, then we will return a 1. Otherwise, let's say else if, else if x is less than 0, if it is a negative number, then we will return a minus 1. Otherwise, else, if x is exactly equal to 0, we will return a 0. And here's the important part. When you return a value using the if conditional statement in Rust, you'll have to end this statement with a semicolon. So what's going on here is it's checking whether x is greater than 0. If it is, then return a 1. Otherwise, if it is less than 0, then return a minus 1. And finally, if it is exactly equal to 0, then return a 0. The value that is returned is captured inside the variable called z. So let's print this out. Let's say print ln z is equal to z. Okay, and then let's execute this file. Inside my terminal, I'll type cargo run dash dash bin in the name of the file if else. Okay, and then we see that z is equal to 1. This is because we said that x is equal to 10. 10 is greater than 0, so it returns a 1. So these are examples of how to create an if else conditional statement in Rust and also how to use it to return some value.